So thank you again for joining me during this webinar. And I hope we'll all have um, a very interesting um, half an hour coming now. So this um, webinar will be organized in four different parts. First, an introduction about um, the new feature, the online commenting. Then a few examples, a few use cases on how to, why you would want to use this online commenting feature. Then, of course, the demo, how to enable that feature, how to um, add comments, uh, manage comments, delete and remove comments. And then at the end, the question parts. Online commenting, what is that? Well, that's actually fairly uh, easy. It's what it said. It's adding comments online on content that is already published on Dortfish TV. That means adding comments to any video on Dortfish TV channels. Uh, I repeat that point only on TV channels, not on uh, smart clouds or personal clouds. That's available on all Dortfish TV channels. We don't need any special, um, special um, channel. Even the basic ones have it. Uh, that's managed by collection. You can uh, enable comments by collection and any user can add comment from web browsers, either desktop or mobile browsers. Uh, that means you don't need any license to add comments, any Dartish license, any user who has a Dartish TV account and who has access to the videos on, Dartish, on the Dartish TV channel can add comments, can add his own opinion or can uh, exchange with the content creator to give more value to the content uh, that is on Dartish TV. The key objective of um, why we developed online commenting was to increase interactions between the, the video analysts, be it coaches or the content creators, uh, to increase their interaction with the athletes and other content consumers. Uh, so far, it has been um, pretty one-dimensional uh, exchange. You had the video coach that would that would publish either a tagged game or a montage or an analysis of some movements, a video analysis on Dorfish TV. And then you would have the, the athletes that would watch that video and uh, learn from that video. But now what we're trying to do is to increase interactions, really bring more value to the content on Dorfish TV and have also um, the flow, the, the information flow coming from the other side. Meaning you, once the, the analyst has published his analysis, his video on Dorfish TV, we also want to offer the athletes possibility to react to that um, analysis. And of course, um, by react, I mean ask questions about the analysis, uh, maybe challenge, um, challenge the analyst um, if he thinks uh, it needs to be, but really provide high quality comments. Um, the purpose is not to replicate um, the comment section such as you could find in YouTube or other public comment section. It's really to have high quality comments, uh, technical comments from the athletes and the coaches. So how could you use that? I've prepared two use cases there uh, to show a bit what, what would be the interest of that online commenting. Uh, one would be the referee training. Uh, our platform, Dortfish TV, is used partly for referee training. And the idea is you have a tagged game. Uh, all the decisions of the referees are tagged uh, live. Um, they can be all the fouls that the referee has called or also potential fouls that the referee has not called. And then you tag all this. You have, at the end of the, of the game, the full game tagged, all the information, and you publish that on Dortfish TV. And then... What you, want, what you want to achieve with um, allowing the online comments on, its, on such videos are to really bring all the referees of a particular league or only the referee and his personal coach and have them discuss about some specific situation. And sometime doing a simple montage is not enough. You want to discuss, you want to exchange, you want to react to some, some things. And that's, that's where online comments can help you. And the more interactions you bring between um, the referee that is trying to improve himself and maybe the, um, the supervisors, the more the referees will be willing to, 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 to train continuously and to improve, um, to improve their, um, their processes. So that's one use case, uh, referee training. And the second one that is more, let's say, general would be remote coaching. Uh, and we have seen during the past month or even the past the past year with um, with the pandemic that remote coaching is now more and more a key element of coaching in sport industry and in in in, uh, in general 
and how can um, online comments improve remote coaching? Well, that's that's that's, that's the answer is in the question. Um, you have a coach, an analyst that that creates his montage, break down specific movements or prepare training exercises, uh, video exercises online, and then he sends that to his athletes using Dartfish TV. And the athletes can then um, let's say ask questions about some part of the exercise or ask questions about some part of the uh, the movement that was broken down. Uh, and then the coach can answer directly and they can do it with the video as a reference. They, they don't need to use emails or WhatsApp or call themselves to, to discuss about that. So they really have direct access to the video and they can discuss or comment um, um, on part of that video directly. And as yeah, the, re the end result is the same as for the referee training example. You really want to increase interactions uh, with the belief that it's going to lead to more involvement from both parties and then an improved learning um, from, uh, from, the, from the athlete. So those were a bit, um, let's say, the, the motivations that, um, that, that motivated us to bring that online commenting in Dorfish TV and, um, and, and have it available for, for all of you. Now let's go to the interesting part of this webinar, that is the demo how to enable online commenting, what it's going to look like, what it's already look like, because it's already available, and then um, how you know, a, a few tricks and tips on how to, how to use that um, in an optimal way. So you should now all see my browser with Dartfish TV in the bottom on it. That's standard uh, TV channel, where you have the homepage of Dartfish TV channel and all the video um, available. The last, um, the most recent video uh, on this channel. To enable online comments, which is by default uh, not enabled, you'll have to go into the admin part. So if you're if you are an administrator of a TV channel, that's all good. If you're not an administrator and you want to use this feature, um, contact him and ask him to enable that online command feature. So to go to the admin part, you go to subscriptions and you have that small icon if you're admin. And now we reach that page, that admin page with the four, um, the four tabs, settings, sharing, member statistics. And let's go to sharing to manage the collections. Now, when I create a new collection, I'll set the collection name. I can add a description. Then I can define the access type, whether it's public, limited, or private. And at the end, I have this new option, um, the comments, and then let the audience add comments to this collection's content. By default, it's disabled. If I enable it, then comments will be allowed on all the videos in that collection. Be careful though, because anybody who has access to the collection uh, will be able to publish comment as long as he has a Dartfish TV account. So for a limited and private collection, that's good because you want your audience to be able to add comments. For public collections, however, if um, the comments are enabled, then anybody who has an, uh, a Dartfish TV account will be able to add comments. So I would recommend to be cautious when you're um, enabling comments on public uh, on public collections. Let's keep this one private to be sure it's all right. And now with that collection in that collection, I'll be able to add comments to all the videos that are already in the collection. Now let's say you already have a collection with all content in it, and you would want to enable comments in uh, on those videos. You just go back to the sharing tab, you select your collection. Um, where is that one? This one, zero. Then you go to edit and you tick that box, comment, let the audience add comments to this collection's content and you click on save. So it's very similar to um, creating a new collection to uh, enable the comments and editing an, an existing collection to enable the comments are fairly similar as expected. And now that's done. So for this collection, I'll be able to add comments on, on their video. Let's go back to the channel. And let's open that specific collection. So 
So this video here is an example of um, yeah, a short um, analysis of a, a football game with uh, some fouls that have been tagged there in the uh, as events. So each event there is a foul. Uh, I can play the full video. Don't need the sound. And if I want to add comments on the video, I have this new icon there, this new tool, show comments. And when I click on it, I can already start to add comments at the video level. Uh, highlights. So let me add a comment um, at the video level. I type my comment and then I click on save. And I have my comment with my username here um, at the whole video level. You'll also notice that on the header there, I have this icon that shows there is one comment on the full video. Same is said here, one comment on the video level. If I want to edit a comment, I click on the three dot and I have this edit option uh, if I've done a mistake in the um, in the comment, for instance, I can also delete it myself, um, and th that's also an option. I can only edit my own comment. Uh, I cannot edit comments from other users, um, and standard users, let's say with standard access rights, simple subscribers that can only watch the video, they can add comments, but they can obviously not delete comments from uh, from other, only administrators and people with um, edit rights on a collection can delete other comments. So that's one first comment, but that's applied on the full video. Um, now, just to show you how it looks like, if I add a second comment, And then that's just going to be added um, on top of the first one in an in an anti chronological order. But now I have a video and I have tagged already. And if I add comments on the full on the whole video, I'm losing the timestamps of the of the tags. That is part of the value of Dortfish TV to have the tags and the video. So instead of adding comment on the full on the whole video. I can also decide to add a comment on a specific event or if it's a montage or on a specific still shot. For this, I just open my event. Then I can watch watch it. Maybe let me. And once I have watched that specific event, I can add uh, my comment, my understanding of uh, of this. So it works the same as for um, the um, comments on the full video. You type your comment, click on save, and you have it there. And you see now that comment uh, next to the um, next to the event, there is a new icon, a new comment icon with a one in it, meaning there is one comment on this specific event. And if I want to filter only events who have comments, I can click on this tick box there and it's, uh, it's going to filter all the events and only events with comments will be displayed. Okay, now I only see the comments at that event level. Let's say I want to go back uh, to the full video and see all the comments uh, at the video level. I need to click on the header here where, where it says one scene for events. Once I click on there, I'm back um, at the video level and I see here video name, there are two comments that I can see here, plus one comment at event level, at the events. And if I click on this, it's filtering the events again, same as clicking on that tick box here. So that's how you differentiate between events at the video level and event at the um, comment or at, at the, um, no, comment at the video level, excuse me, and comments at the event level. Now, let's say I want to continue watching my, my video here. And there is only a specific image on that video where I want to, to add a comment. But this specific image, 
has no still shot and has no um, event that is um, highlighting it. In this case, for instance, you can see there's a slow motion. And I want to add an event at this specific point or a comment at this specific point of the video because I think it's there that it's interesting to, to add my comment. In this case, I can see why there is a foul on this on this event. It's because the, yeah, the, the player from Liverpool, uh, not sure who it was uh, anymore, but that player uh, um, was tackling with a very high foot. So if I want to add a comment at, on this specific image, I have this additional tool there, create a new comment marker. And now when I click on that, it creates, let's say, some kind of specific still shot applied on this, uh, on this image only of the video. And all the comments will be related to this, um, this frame of the video. So let's add this um, high food from, was it Carragher? I'm not sure, Liverpool. Hence, that's, that gives a yellow card. And now you see here, uh, I have a new item there uh, in, my, uh, in my event list. And instead of, having, uh, in, of being in gray, it's in light blue, meaning it's a specific comment marker. It's a marker or still shot that is only dedicated for comments. I'll not be able to add drawings. That's not going to be in included in the statistics for the events on the channel. It's purely a comment marker. And if I look at the, um, at the timeline of the video, this comment marker uh, is in blue. Instead of being in, in gray, uh, it has a light blue uh, background. And once that's done, the, the label of that comment marker is based on the first, um, let's say, on the first um, words of the comment added, added there. So by default, uh, I type high food from Liverpool player, hence yellow card, and the label is going to be high food from Liverpool player. If I want to change that label, uh, that label, of course, I can do it. I just go here, the three dots next to it, edit, and I can edit the label of that, um, of that comment marker. And now any additional comment I add on this comment marker is going to be um, added like any other standard comments on uh, at the event or at the video level. And that's that's basically it. You've seen um, you've seen everything. So it's it's a simple feature or simple easy to use. That was the purpose, as it's meant for everyone. Uh, the key elements that you'll need to, to let's say, to, to remember or to know is really that is de was developed to increase interactions on Artfish TV. Um, the more interactions you have, the more people are watching video uh, analysis, the more the work from the analyst um, has value, so the better it is for um, uh, overall. So no licenses, no MyDorfish licenses required, only a TV channel and any user can then add from web browsers, from any web browser, uh, desktop or mobile versions can add comments. And um, you don't need specific access rights once its access rights are linked to the video access rights. If you can watch the video, you can add comments. If you cannot watch the video, you won't be able to add comments, obviously. And then administrators and moderators also are able to delete um, comments from other people. 